Hey friends, we're learning C-sharp today. We did Hello World, and we're inside of Visual Studio Code. Again, a brief reminder, I'm hitting Control, Plus and Minus, and you see I can make my fonts really big. Now I can see it. Or now you can see it. And I make it really small. And I want to point out on the left-hand side of Visual Studio Code, there's these extensions, there's these buttons. And they're going to get bigger and smaller as I make things bigger and smaller. And you'll notice if it gets really big, some of them disappear, and they disappear behind this dot, dot, dot. They're still there. They're just not able to show them all. Right. Okay? Now, this one here that says extensions, we can click on that. And because we're learning C Sharp, we've installed the C Sharp Dev Kit. And with that comes all these other extensions. All these tools, right? To run Debug C Sharp, to get IntelliSense, to get all these features of C Sharp, to make it easier to code in VS Code. Exactly. With and without those, VS Code for us would effectively just be Notepad. Notepad, plus plus. Exactly. It would be a text editor. So it's C Sharp Dev Kit that lights up Visual Studio Code, and it makes our code more fun, more enjoyable, and easier. It also makes what's called syntax, syntax highlighting. Coloring. Look at how our, our characters have different colors, and those colors are making it easier to read this. That's right. Okay. Now, in doing that, we're also getting additional information from, uh, from Visual Studio Code. On the left-hand side here, there's a section called Explorer because we have a solution or a project right. that we're looking at here. You see files, mm -hmm. folders, et cetera, in that first view. Yeah, that's a good point. Let's look at this. Remember when we made our folder, and I typed dir for directory. Do it again. You see on the left-hand side in VS Code, there's those files. And on the right-hand side, right side, there's the same files. And it maps one-to-one, -one, right? It's, it's a great point, David. It is one-to-one. -one. By that, David is saying, there's been, there's our programs. That file exists. Now, that may not be how you want to think about your projects. So the dev kit includes a thing called the Solution Explorer. So I'm going to collapse this accordion. Those are called accordion controls. I'm going to open this one up. And over here, this is really cool. This is not a physical view of what's happening on the disk. It's not this only is, your files. Yeah. This is some concepts that we're going to talk about later in other videos. But we can see that we have a, an application. And all we really care about is program.cs. Yes. So it hid the bin and the obj and all the little weird the stuff. The output folders, output files, in, intermediate files. It's, sh it's showing you a logical view of your project, your main source files, your dependencies, et cetera. Right. Just like a dashboard in your car is in front of your engine hiding the details of that. the engine. You like That's that? That's a good one. This is like your <laughs> dashboard here. The last thing we want to show you as we explore how we're looking at our Hello World in VS Code is this run and debug. Run and debug here. There's a big green, a uh, big blue button here. If I hit run and debug, it's building and it's running my application. And there's Hello David. We're going to try running things in different ways yep. because there's lots of choices. And some people find this to be a little bit dramatic. Daunting. A little daunting. Yeah, there's a lot of other things here in yellow that are popping up. They'll be useful as you get farther in your journey. But each time you hit run and debug, it's going to build it, compile it, run it, and run it. And the code that we're executing is, hello, David, just one line. That's what we output. This is RPMs and details and, details and stuff details. behind the dashboard we don't want to see. Not yet. Not yet. That's a great point. But again, I can always click Terminal. And again, I want to point out our hotkey. The one hotkey that we've learned so far is that one. Control back tick. Definitely or, use hotkeys. Okay. Yep. It's much faster. That's one. And the other one is great is Control F5. So F5 will do a debug. I just pressed F5, and now it's going to do that. It's the same exact thing. This run and debug button here, I just typed F5 on my keyboard, same thing. But if I say F5 and I press the control button, that says, just run it. Just yep. run it. I don't want any of the little details. Just boop, control F5, and it runs it. There it is. And yep. there's Hello David. And yep. what it's doing is it's just running it in the terminal. Yep. And then what you like to do is type dot yeah. run. 
It's Why great. do you like doing that? It's you great. just like to drive stick shift? It's sometimes faster for me if I'm, if I'm on the command line itself or, or if I'm in VS Code, I can kind of take those skills and use them in VS Code without having to like learn the IDE. Mm -hmm. And you should learn both, but you know, this is faster for me sometimes. Right. And you can see that we're in the C drive, in the code folder, in the hello world folder. Same place. I can also go back to Visual Studio Code. I can also type .NET Run. So I've got lots of different choices. Yep. We'll get more into the details as we explore. But we want to just familiarize yourself with your space because you've got a lot of panels that are opening and closing, and it can definitely be a little bit confusing. But you can't break it. Yep. All right. We're Hopefully. having a good time learning C Sharp.